गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून मैम so now i am starting my today's class okay in the last class yesterday we have discussed about the basic logic gates and their truth table and there are two universal logic gates nand and nor do you do you have any question from that section no ma'am so now this is a another logic gate which is known as xor gate x or in short form it is exclusive or gate why it is exclusive because this gate can be used for many operations like addition operation parity checking for bit comparison that's why okay so as this gates has various functions this gate is known as exclusive gate and now see the operation of exclusive or gate from the truth table i am giving you the operation tips to remember it see if the number of inputs number of inputs is 2 so there are four combinations how we can write the output from this input for xor gate if the number of input or number of one is odd number of one in the input section is odd then the output will be one but if the number of inputs that is 1 when both the inputs are one in case of two inputs xor gate so number of ones here 2 which is a even number so if even number of ones are present in the input side then the output will be zero see the truth table and try to understand the point here one input is one that is how many ones are there one this one is odd number so if odd number of ones is present then the output will be one but here number of inputs two both are one so how many ones are there two and this two is even number so if even number of ones are there then the output will be zero got this point yes ma'am okay then from truth table you can understand this so what is the logic symbol for two input xor gate it is just like or gate but it is separated by a parenthesis like symbols this so this is the logic symbol of a xor gate two input xor gate and this is the ex output expression for xor gate if we write a plus b it is or gate but when this plus sign is within a circle then it means it is exclusive or gate and what is the output expression a not b plus a b not 
take any one case from input suppose a is 0 b is 1 what will be the output why if a is 0 b is 1 when a is 0 then a complement means it will be 1 then 1 dot b is 1 that is 1 dot 1 means we will get 1 here then from this term a is 0 b is 1 so complement of b give us 0 then 1 dot 0 1 dot 0 means actually 1 and 0 so it will be 0 so finally here it is 1 plus here it is 0 so 1 plus 0 give us 1 so when this conditions comes the output will be 1 so this is the output expression you should remember it for two input xor gate it is a not b plus ab not clear yes ma'am okay. here we write some functions of xor gate xor gate acts as an inequality detector this term is important here inequality detector inequality means inequality in the input side here both the inputs are zero it means both the inputs are in same condition their output is zero here both the inputs are one and we may call both the inputs are equal then the output is zero but when the output is one when the inputs are not equal to each other one is zero another is one here this one is one another is zero so when the inputs are not equal then the output will be one that's why it is used as an inequality detector we can detect the output when the inputs are not equal clear yes ma'am So now I am going to the next section, next topic that is Boolean algebra and De Morgan's theorem. You know the basic algebra, okay? With the help of algebra, you can solve various problems. But here, why it is called Boolean? Because George Boole developed these rules that's why it is known as boolean algebra and using this algebra we can solve various boolean functions so what is boolean actually in case of logic gates the inputs are known as boolean variable you can use capital alphabets cap in capital letters or in small letters but you should take alphabets only okay as input as well as output for example a b capital a b x y these are all variables can have only one of the two possible values or at any time what are these two possible values in case of digital systems you know it follows a binary number system so any variable it can take only the two distinct values that is 0 or 1 and such variables or such symbols are known as boolean variables now next some basic laws of boolean algebra we should remember this and we can understand this also suppose this section is somehow related with this how see here all are in or operation here all are in and operation there are basically three operations you know and or and not 
you know the function of not because if we put zero at the input side we will get one at the output side that is the not function means we will get the complement output of the input here these are or laws or these are valid for or operations and this side that is from 5 to 8 valid form for and operations okay so if we or any variable a b c d x y z any variable with zero what will be the result a because output depends only on the a check if a is zero then zero plus zero give us zero if a is one then one plus zero give us one so actually output is equivalent or equal to a in the case of and law any variable whether it is zero or one if multiplied with zero or dot or and operation with zero obviously the output will be zero here or operation a plus one so any variable whether it is zero or one state if we or this with one what will be the output one because in or operation if any input is one the output will be one here for dot operation or and operation if we take a variable if we multiply it with one what will be the result depending on a check if it is zero zero dot one give us zero one dot one give us one so basically it follows a so a dot one means a similarly here a plus a give us a a dot a give us a a plus a bar what will be the result a plus a bar at any instant if a is zero so a bar will be one right so zero plus one then what will be the output one one so check if it is one then it will give us zero so one plus zero give us one so this is a ma'am bolchi ma'am a bar ta ki kore one hocche a bar a bar means a complement right? Haan, ma'am. if Haan. we put a zero then what will be the complement of a one one, one. 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 Mm -hmm. right? we will get it actually using not get just see the expression okay a plus a not that means okay, if we put a is zero then the complement output will be one now actually this expression becomes zero plus one right? so zero plus one means one if it is one it will give us zero same thing one plus zero give us one for dot rule a dot a not a dot a bar you have it zero it are the first day just practice do it A dot A, A, A dot A bar, zero. A dot zero, zero, A dot one, A. A dot A bar. Check. If it is zero, it will be one. That is, if dot could be if one input is zero, another is one, output will be zero. So, A dot A bar is zero. This four laws for or and this four for and and see one important thing here Now, just see one thing. These four laws 
maintain some properties check if you put just replace 0 with 1 then you will get this 2 okay if we replace 0 with 1 in our operation it is 0 if we replace it with 1 we will get the same result here if we replace this 1 with 0 what will be the result a dot 0 give us 0 here a plus a is a same a plus a bar 1 here only 0 so this property is known as dual property of the boolean algebra just replace 1 with 0 and 0 with 1 you will get the result when both are a you will get a in both side or operation or and operation you will get a okay now boolean algebra supports some basic laws of ordinary algebra already you should know this three laws one is known as commutative law associative law another is associative law and third one is distributive law this is very simple things it is you can verify it verify this expression with the help of truth table you will get that taking left hand side if you take this you will get a output truth table and if you take this in this form b plus a you will get the truth table for that and after getting this two truth tables it will show both the both truth tables shows the same results it means a plus b equals to b plus a obviously a dot b equals to b dot a in associative law if we remove this parenthesis so a plus b you can put here within this parenthesis plus c you will get the same result in both side in dot operation a dot b dot c you will get the same result here in distributive law simple algebra following the simple algebra you should multiply both a b you will get a dot b then a a will be multiplied with c you will get a dot c so both are same here also a plus b c plus d you will get four terms here ac plus ad plus bc plus bd and if you have this term ab plus ac you can take a as a common term and you can write b plus c just same line written here but it is in the right right hand side it is in the left hand side so these three laws we will use for simplifying the Boolean equations. Now, here some Boolean equations are given for simplification. Now, what is y within bracket A, B, C? Each system has the output. Each digital system has the output. Consider this is the output terminal y. And from here, you can guess how many input terminals are there in the system. In the system or in the circuit, there are three input variables. So y, that is output, is a function of a, b, c. And the output equals to a, b, c plus a bar b plus a, b, c bar. So you can implement this circuit by showing this equation with the help of basic logic gates. Suppose a, b, c to generate this term, this is a AND term, right? a dot b dot c, a, b, c. 
you should take only one three input AND gate. Here, to get A naught B, first, you should convert A to A naught. Then one NOT gate is required. Then A naught, that is the output, it will be multiplied with B. That is, another AND gate is required, which is two input AND gate, A naught B. Then you will get this term. And here, A dot B dot C naught. So to get the C naught, first connect one inverter with the C input terminal. And from the output, you will get C naught. Then connect C naught, A and B, these three terminals with a three input and gate. Then the output, it will be A, B, C naught. So now, how you can generate the OR between these three terms? Because one AND term, second AND term, and third AND term, there with OR operations with each other. So you need another three input OR gate to get the final output Y. Because here it is a one term, one and term, another and term, another and term. So you should connect this three input to the inputs of the three OR gate, three input OR gate. And finally, from the output, you will get this Y. And then you can say that, yes, Y is equal to ABC plus A bar B plus ABC bar. But to implement this, you can guess how many logic gates are required. Here, one, three input AND gate. Here, two input AND gate. Here, three input AND gate. And to get this complement, you should take two inverter gate. And finally, to get the OR between this three, three AND term, another three input OR gate is required. So three plus four plus five, uh, two, not get that is six gates are required. So our purpose is to reduce the number of gates to implement the circuit that performs the same operation. So now how we can simplify the output expression here for minimization. So to simplify this equation, we will take the help of Boolean laws. Now, see, first one, ABC plus A bar B plus ABC bar, okay? ABC plus A bar B plus ABC bar. This, uh, this term will be actually B, huh? not B not, B bar. A bar B. So how we can solve, how we can minimize this? First, consider this two term, ABC and ABC bar. Then take AB as a common term. Then C plus C bar, you will get C plus C bar here plus A bar B, right? A bar B. So from C plus C bar, what is the rule behind this? C plus C bar? C plus C bar give us one. one. So it will give us actually A B dot one plus A naught B. And then from this two term, you can again take a common variable, common term that is B. Then what will be the output? B within bracket, you will get A plus A naught. So here, Actually, A plus A bar again 1. So ultimately, it will be equivalent to B. So only using this terminal, B will get the output. Because the final output depends only on the B. It follows B. Here, AC bar plus ABC bar. If we take 
AC bar. Now you can solve this here 1 plus B. And 1 plus B means any variable when or with 1. Obviously, the output will be 1 because it is an OR operation. So ultimately, from here, you will get AC bar. So there were two terms, but after simplifying, you will get only a single term, AC bar. So in this way, we can reduce the number of gates to design the circuit. This is not the best way. There are various ways to reduce the Boolean expression. But this way, if we solve the equation by using the Boolean laws, Boolean rules, and De Morgan's theorem, there are two theorems known as De Morgan's theorem. We can reduce the Boolean expressions, but it is time taking. So there are another methods to solve or to minimize the Boolean expressions. Boolean expression minimizations is required to minimize the number of logic gates. Okay. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, see. Yes, Morgan's theorem. What is De Morgan's theorem? How you can memorize this theorem? First theorem, see the expression first. A B naught equivalent to A naught plus B naught. A B naught. What is this? This is NAND. Right? Two input NAND gate. AB naught, if AB is input, then AB naught means NAND. Right? Left hand side? Yes, ma'am. So, how you can memorize it? NAND is equivalent to bubbled OR. Bubbled OR. Bubbled means complement. So, if A, B naught is there, first theorem states that it will be equivalent to bubbled OR. So, bubbled OR means if there are two variables, we will get the OR of the complement of each variable. A, B, there are two variables. So, it will be the OR of A naught and B naught. So, now the first theorem states that the complement of a product, here it is a product term, AB is a product term, that is AND term. Complement of a product term, now taking this, which is called complement, complement of a product is equal to, is equal to sum of the complements. Sum of the complements, sum means this or sum of the complements. Complements means there are two variables. So take the complement of each variable A0 and B0. Sum of the complements, that is, if the variables are A and B, then we can write AB complement is equivalent to A complement plus B complement. And you can read it as NAND is equivalent to bubbled or clear the first theorem yes ma'am next so nand you can remember nand yes. why it is nand nand is a universal gate so another one it will be nor so take a second theorem states that the complement of a sum complement of a sum Sum means you know OR operation. So complement of OR means NOR. So it is NOR. So NOR is equivalent to bubbled AND. Bubbled AND. So we can 
read it in this way nor is equivalent to babbled and if it is an or then we take complement of this that is the second theorem states that the complement of a sum is equal to the product of the complements product of the complements complements of the variables product of the complements in equation form this can be written as a plus b then take complement complement means it is a nor operation then it will be equal to a not dot b not so just say nand is equivalent to bubbled bubbled or and nor is equivalent to bubbled and when it is nand it will be or when it is nor it will be and just a reverse or and it will be or 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 it will be and clear yes ma'am yes ma'am so actually de morgan's theorem yes. states the output of two universal logic gates that is nand and nor operations nand is equivalent to bubbled or and nor is equivalent to bubbled and this is the de morgan's theorem so de morgan's theorem two theorems that are an important part of this boolean algebra were proposed by de morgan and the first theorem is based on this nand operations and second theorem is based on the nor operations so now based on this de morgan's theorem you can again simplify the boolean expression one expression is given here just try to solve it and you will get c not just do it Here, De Morgan's theorem is not used. Here, just simple laws are used. There are four terms: a bar, c bar, then a bar, c bar is here. Then b plus b bar give us one. From here, you can take a c bar as a common part. B bar plus b give us one. So finally, from here. Take c bar, you will get a plus a bar within bracket, and it will give us one. So finally, it will be c naught. So when y equals to the or of this four term, which is equivalent to c naught basically, then from here. Here, associative law and the rules are used. We are taking my product of A B plus A bar B C D. Then rearrange the terms. C C bar give us one. Then from here, D bar. Plus d, give us one, and finally, from this two term, by taking this b as a common, then a plus a bar will be one. Then finally, you will get b. Clear? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, see here the Morgan theorem are used for implementation of basic gates with the help of universal gates. You know the definitions of universal gates. You have told yesterday that NAND and NOR, these are known as universal gates because we can implement the basic logic gates with the help of NAND gate only or NOR gates only. So here is a implementation part. To implement NOT gate from NAND gate. Then AND gate from NAND gate and OR gate from NAND gate. Here, two input NAND gate. If we connect both the input, connect means if we short these two terminals and take one input from this common terminals. So it will become a one input gate. What will be the output? If both the input now becomes A and A, so what will be the output expression? A dot A, then complement. So A dot A, give us A. There is a rule, A dot A equals to A. A plus A equals to A. So now A dot A equals to A. So finally, you will get A naught. So now in this configuration, this two input NAND gate is acting as a inverter. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Or Kushmit? Yes, ma'am. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Then how we can implement the AND operation from the NAND? It is very easy because it is a NAND gate, right? So if we take the complement of this, then we will get the original output. If we take the double complement of any variable, Suppose if we write A double naught, then we will get A again. Check. If you put A equals to 0, A naught, you have it? A naught will be 1. And then again, the complement of that A naught, it will give us 0. So we will get the original input, right? So if we take the double complement of this product term, we will get the original term. Do you agree this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so in this configuration, basically this is a two input NAND gate. You will get here the NAND operation, NAND output. Then using this configuration, that is to invert this term again, you should connect this two terminal of another two input NAND gate and fit this output with this input. And finally, you will get the output Y, which is the complement of this, right? A, B bar already chilo, and then it will give us A, B double naught, double bar. So finally, we will get A, B. So this portion give us the equivalent operation of AND. So in this way, we can implement the AND gate using a two NAND gate. Two NAND gate. Here, you will get the OR operation. How many AND gates are required to implement this? One, two, and three. So three two input NAND gates are required to implement a two input OR gate. 
is it clear the, from the diagram see a not b not then take the nand of that nand of that so one where input is a not another is b not what will be the output here this is nand so one variable is a not another variable is b not so they are nand they are in nand operation so a not dot b not give us and and then complement so yes now use de morgan's theorem this de morgan's theorem states that nand is equivalent to bubbled or nand is equivalent to bubbled or is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am then if it is a not then bubble means yes, a double not say then a double not give us a b double not give us b so we are getting a plus b that is or operation so in this way we can implement yes Uh, Ma'am, the word bubbled exactly where you, you are using. I mean, pointing to a. Uh, the word bubbled where exactly bubbled. it is pointing bubbled to means actually complement. This symbol is termed as bubbled. Okay. Suppose we will take the complement of and operations, then it is called. bubbled and operations so bubble and means actually nand okay bubbled means actually complement okay ma'am okay because in inverter gate you have seen one arrow sign in logic symbol and one small circle is there this circle is known as bubbled right Okay, so putting that bar is only bubble. Bubble means complement. We are getting the complement. Okay, if we separate this bubble from here, this circuit acts as an AND gate. मैंने आमी बोल ची from this symbol, if we separate this or we if we remove this small circle from here, this gates acts as an AND gate, right? Yes, ma'am. If we add this bubble. it indicates it is a complement of the and operations that is this is the logic symbol of nand clear yes ma'am so in this way with the help of three three two input nand gates we can implement the or gate so using nand gate we can implement not gate we can implement and gate we can implement or gate that's why nand is known as universal gate in this way there are i will share this notes with you so you can understand here how with the help of nor gate you can implement not gate or gate and and gate okay so using nand and nor you can implement the basic gates that's why these two are known as the universal logic gates and also another gate which is known as xor gate xor gate also we can implement with the help of nand gate this is not the implementation of xor gate using nand gate here it is the implementation of xor gate using basic logic gates that is and or not if we break this expressions in this way you can design the xor gate that is with the help of and gate or gate not gate we will design the xor gate in physical so y will be a not b a not b see one input comes here that is b this input comes via a inverter gate so it is a not so here you will get a not b another term is ab not so to generate this ab not take this one input from a directly another input via this complete not gate or inverter gate you will get the complement of b that is b not so using this and gate you are getting ab not so finally using this two input or gate 
what will be the output output will be a not b plus a b not so it will give us a x or b so this is the implementation of xor gate using and or not gate up to this is it clear yes ma'am yes sir ma yes ma'am now here another implementation xor yes, gate using minimum number of nand gates here we are taking the help of de morgan theorem this is a implementations procedure of the xor gate using nand gates and this is the way of implementations in this way we can implement or design the xor gate using minimum number of nand gates in this way only four two input nand gates are required another approach is there where five two input nand gates are required so you should practice this one how we can get the two input xor gate using the minimum number of nand gates minimum number of means this number of two input gates nand gates how many nand gates are required Four. One. To get this term A B not. Another. To get this term, this two term. Two two input nand gates are required, and finally. From this two term, you will get the output using this nand term. Here is the simplification. Here, A B not, A B not. Taking this input here, a, what will be the output? You will get the term here. This is NAND between a and a b naught. So a dot a b naught, which is in AND, then take complement. Here, b and one input comes from here. So b dot a b naught. Y is basically taking from this two input NAND gate. One input give us this term. Another input is this. So, what will be the output Y? Y will be the NAND between these two NAND. So, take AND then complement of this. And using the De Morgan theorem, that is NAND is equivalent to bubbled OR. You will get these two separate term. And from here, see, it is double complement. So double complement means you will get the original term. Here it is the original term. Consider it is x. So x double bar means you will get x here. So this is x. Here consider it is y. So y double complement means you will get y here. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So in this way, if you try, if you try, then you can reduce. See here again NAND operation. So use De Morgan's theorem. Then NAND is equivalent to bubble door. Here also NAND is equivalent to bubble door. Then you will get a a naught plus a b naught. Here a naught b plus b b naught. And using the Boolean rules, a a naught give us zero. Here B B not give us zero, so finally we will get A B not plus A not B. This is the output expression for XOR gate. So in this way, this is the implementation technique of XOR gate using minimum number of NAND gates. Ma'am, this one is little bit big than the previous AND and OR gate. Yes. Then why are we using this okay. one? We uh, because XOR gates can perform various functions for designing addition, mani adder circuit, for designing uh, subtractor circuit, for designing inequality detector or equality detector. Okay. Or 
as a buffer as a inverter you can use only a two input and gate a two input xor gate okay okay that's why xor gate is important and if it is true that nand is universal gate so we should prove that we can implement any kind of gate with the help of nand gate that's why it is here okay ma'am it means with nod it is also possible yes oh. so in your book it is available how we can implement the xor gate with the help of nor gate okay yes sir okay try that one also so already time is over just see why xor gate is known as exclusive or gate okay it can perform as a adder adder means you can add the binary bits with the help of xor gate we will explain it when we will design the half adder circuit or full adder circuit so one operation is it can add the binary bits another is it can act as a inverter as well as it can act as a buffer so try this one how xor gate from the truth table if you see one input control input if we put control input at zero what will be the output here suppose it is a two input xor gate and we are calling this input as a control input and put it at zero voltage level so what will be the output here if we put this terminal at ground permanently so one input is always zero what will be the output here it is written here but you should understand this point when control input is low why follows a agree yes ma'am how if it is zero suppose you put zero what will be the output when both are zero or both are one output will be zero in zero forget okay so it will be zero if it is one both what is both the, are one no both are one this one is permanently gr ground this is the condition okay when we put then output will be one load, then one then output load. will be one when control input is low so then output will be a if we put a a equals to one then output will be one tell me why follows a okay yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am in this उटपुट फॉलोज इनपुट और यू मे कॉल इट इज इनपुट फॉलोअर सो आउटपुट फॉलोज इनपुट but see if we put this at high level what will be the output if control input is high always if we put this high zero zero means complement of if we input. put this at high high means ami bolam plus 5 volt e ami rekhechi if it is always give us one input logic one thik ache then what will be the output if we put zero here then it will get zero one combination what will be the output one yes sir yes ma'am if we put one here what will be the output 
both are one zero zero so y actually equal, equal to a complement so in this way two input xor gate can be used as a buffer as a inverter clear yes ma'am so several applications are there that's why it is exclusive or gate so it can add the binary bits it can subtract the binary bits it can compare the binary bits it can get the complement output it can generate the same output that's why this is very very important which is known as xor gate so now up to this next tomorrow we have the class at 145 right right yes ma'am okay now taking the again news Obibadun present ma'am Astik Roll number 62 Astik Onubhav Yes ma'am present ma'am Shubhodeep present ma'am Shunaina present ma'am Orunavo 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 Shohom Ma'am Orunavo went to college uh, to submit his documents today. Oh okay okay Shohom present ma'am 67 present ma'am Shopna or both? Yes, ma'am. Or no? Or no? Shayok? Yes, ma'am. Binayo? I'm on no way, my touch. Or no? Yes, ma'am. On no way, my touch. Okay, okay. okay. Shayok. Shayok is there, right? Binayok? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sia? Yes, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Atunu? Present, ma'am. Shabik? Mohamad Shabik? Shomalo? Present, ma'am. What are you saying? Shomalo? Shabik Mamad? is present. Shabik. Okay. Shomalo? Yes. Ma'am, present. Present. Milan? Shubrajit? Yes, ma'am, present. Shouraj? Present, ma'am. Upayun? Present, ma'am. Orkushmit? Present, ma'am. Shatuki? Present, ma'am. Dista? Present, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So, Milan is absent, right? Milan? Yes, ma'am, he is absent. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.